Hey, so we're back. Dean was here performance. Uh, we were doing the Holly Terminator X. We got all the main harness, the ECU in. Um, we got the truck fired up. And what I actually did was I did use the handheld um, to do an initial file. Uh, they call it a global file. Um, and then I took the SD card out and I was having trouble with um changing the file like i'm i have a tablet so i was having trouble t changing the file in the, with the tablet and getting it to load back in it kept giving me a file error and a few other issues i was having with it so um i ended up just basically wiping out the sd card i formatted it um went online and downloaded the sd card contents from Holly's website um, and that gives you the firmware update gives you everything so it's called SD card contents um, so I re-downloaded all of that put it on the SD card went back in the handheld redid from the beginning with the wizard um, and then saved everything went back over to the tablet the laptop whatever you have and actually just took the file I had created, put it onto the SD card, so it has all my map settings, uh, my map sensor settings, which are different from Holly's three and a half bar, three bar, um, and loaded it back in, and the truck fired right up, runs perfect, map is right, um, all that good stuff. I'll actually, I'll grab the tablet, and we'll open up the Terminator X so I could show you what is different with mine so i'm gonna set you down for a second and all this is loading i'll grab the wire for the terminator i did end up uh ordering the candy usb wire so that i could just plug into a laptop or um you know whatever i want the the tablet, like I said, is what I use. Um, so this is the Terminator X software. It looks a lot like the V4, uh, V5, um, and this is my file that I created. Uh, so under sensors, this is my map curve. So I did custom map up here at the top, and then this is my curve for a Duramax. Uh, it's, it's kind of a three and a half bar sensor, um, from what I understand anyway. So at zero volts, you know, zero to five volts, you got, just, I had to change that. It went like zero to 15 for some reason. It was weird. Um, so at zero volts, the first number should be 40. And then at five volts, the last number is 342. And all I did was I took and highlighted all the cells from 40 over to 342 like that and then I right clicked and that fill row values and that filled in the whole uh, table it got all my values for me so it made it really simple for me um, and then the oil pressure I just put it on a Holly 100 PSI, uh, it works, it's the same transducer um, for that. Same with the fuel pressure, just put it on a Holly 100 PSI. Um, so right now, the inputs and outputs is uh, very simple. Um, and I have a few sheets that I downloaded um, that show a few things. So here on my inputs, I have, I have one left open that I might use for the shifter. But I have uh, staging input number two, plus I, I did a boost scramble, um, which I tied that into the bump button, which is staging input number two. So that's the bump, like when you're on your trans brake. Um, so I also tied that into boost scramble. Uh, not quite sure if it'll work, but from what I understand, it will work. And then on input three, I have my rev limiter one which is my two-step 
I have staging input number one, uh, which is uh, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it is, but it, it'll give you all of these up here in the box um, like this. It'll show it up here. It'll show all of these up here. And then literally what you do is you just grab it and throw it down on whatever input line that it has there. Same with the outputs. I have staging output, boost solenoid, and electric fan. Uh, like I said, I need to do electric fans. Otherwise, I'll forget to turn them on. Um, and everything works perfect. Uh, the only thing I'm doing right now is I'm trying to dial in the boost. Um, over here, they have this dual port, single... I chose single Humphrey three port, uh, but I do have dual uh, solenoids, um, but I run one on each turbo. So it's basically the same as running a single. It'll just split the signal between the two. Um, and then you can't do anything other than dome pressure only, which Matt Happel, Sloppy Mechanics, has a pretty good strategy that he used instead of adding a transducer for this dome pressure. He actually stole the map signal and then plotted out uh, this dome map 5 volt and then he configured it um, for his map sensor which I did the same thing I configured it for my map sensor again 0 volts is 40 the 5 volts is 342 and I, again I did have to change the bottom voltage from 0 to 5 and all I did again I went over here this was 0 I went to the end I put in 5 and then I just did fill table fill row table selected them all and that was done same thing up here I did 342 and 40 selected them did fill row and it it puts it all in there for you it's almost like an interpolate on most other systems um, so I got all of that done and then I went ahead and I actually made a box um, I didn't like the the ECU being up there on the roll bar with my switches because it was too far away, um, you know, in case I needed to shut the truck off or something like that. Um, also, to work on it was a pain in the butt to kind of crawl in there and lean over the roll bar and do all this. Now, the ECU is right here, um, and all I did was I, I built a little aluminum box. Um, and I was going to put all the relays in it, but then I decided not to put the relays in it because if I needed to work on them. So I just got to finish it up, uh, screwing it down and whatnot, but it's got my start button, my power button. I mounted the ECU right on top, and then on the front, I mounted the power fuse, and the Terminator X comes with a, a relay built in for the fuel pump. Um, so I mounted that there, and then I, I have a solid state relay for my trans brake. So I mounted that on the side, and then this is the main power cable that goes back to the battery. And that's the fuse. So I mounted that there. So everything's mounted good. Um, I routed the wiring, you know, right over the hump, whatever. And then tied everything up. And I, I cleaned up all the wiring and everything um, the best I could for now. And then I'm going to make a panel to cover that section there. Um, kind of like I did with the second wideband gauge. I mean, it's only a thin piece right now. But I'll probably end up taking that off. Getting another piece of sheet aluminum. And basically copying this, you know, down with a, I think it's like a 30 degree angle um, that I bent into it. And I'll end up covering this whole section where it's open and everything's ugly. Uh, and paint this black to finish it all up. Um, and then I went ahead. Yeah, it's not mounted. I know. I got to finish it. I have to change the seat. But I went ahead and I made these little tabs. Um... To come off the steering wheel and I just screwed them on with some nice button head uh, Allen screws and that side has the bump button and this side has the trans brake and two-step button um, so that bump button will also act as my scramble um, which scramble is good to have in case you're losing whack the button and add whatever percent you want um, all the inputs and outputs are, are really relatively easy um, 
to figure out and they have a, a very good sheet that tells you exactly which pin is which in the plug here um, they give you the harness the input output harness and then you snap it into this plug you have to pull a little cover off and then you snap it into this plug and that gives you all your inputs and outputs um, so as of right now I have one input left and one output left which my input I'm gonna run to the map sensor signal uh, just the same as Matt did uh, and I'm gonna give that a shot see how that works if, it, if I'm not comfortable or it doesn't work I'll end up just doing uh, another transducer on the wastegate and then this way I could send that dome pressure back to um, the ECU because I do have CO2 um, to stab on top of the dome so I have to play with all that pressure, you know, what it's going to be at, how it's all going to work out um, with everything. So other than that, it's, it's super, super simple. Um, it's just an easy system. And we'll go ahead and we'll fire it up. The truck's kind of loud, but it'll be alright. It sounds good. So we'll get it to come up and we're online, it says it up there, online, we come over here to little dashboard and I reconfigured a few of the gauges, um, you can't really change the layout as far as, as I can tell inside this software, but you can change what each gauge is, um, so I have you know my air fuel, my boost, RPM, uh, engine temp, oil pressure, air temp, which is like your intake temp, fuel pressure, and the IAC position, which is pretty important with this, um, but it's super simple to adjust it uh, to get it to, to idle real good and everything. Um, so I'll go ahead, I'll whack the button, and it should fire right off. system just works so good um, and to be honest the truck has never run better it's never sounded better um, it builds boost so much quicker now uh, that it's on all eight cylinders um, we had that issue and with the other box like I said in the other video um, but yeah we're ready to go uh, tidying up a few things got to finish up steering column um, and get it weighed Get it on the dyno, see what it can make, figure out the, the boost settings, where I want to be, launch, which is really cool that it has a launch strategy. The boost strategy is super uh, efficient on this. Um, but here, it has your trans brake launch input. So you put your launch, um, your trans brake on. And then you put your launch target. 10 PSI is what I have set up for right now. Um, scramble I set for 2 PSI just to test it and make sure everything works. Um, but I'm hoping maybe uh, next week, early next week, that we get it up to the dyno. We'll get it all back together here in the next day or so. Um, but we'll get it up to the dyno. We'll make a video of that, record everything. Um, and go from there like i said it's a super simple system you cannot go wrong so for now 
I'm Dean with Seer Performance. Uh, check us out Instagram, uh, Facebook. Uh, click the like, subscribe. We really appreciate it uh, taking the time to watch this video. Thank you very much.